Today on our 2014 Toyota Tacoma, we're going to be taking a look at the best rear suspension upgrades available and helping you decide which is going to be the right one for your application. Now the reason we typically look for rear suspension upgrades for the vehicle are going to be like if we want to haul a little bit of extra weight. We want something that's going to level our truck back out and make the hauling and stopping things like that much safer. Look at something like this or if you're more into the off-road side of it where you like to spend a lot of time off-road, off camber, things like that, we look for something that's gonna absorb some of that shock and some of that impact so it's not so rough heading down the trail. And we've got three different types of upgrades available that we're gonna be taking a look at. One's gonna be more of a standard type timbrin kind of an application. This is gonna be your more of a load leveling and towing style. We're also going to look at airbags. Now, airbags come from Airlift, and we also have kits from Firestone. These are more of a load leveling with increased ride comfort style setup. And then also from Timber, we have an off-road style. Now, this helps slightly in the load leveling and things like that when you're hauling, but this is designed to absorb a lot of the impacts when you're taking those larger bumps and things like that off-road. Now our standard timbering system is going to mount right underneath the U-bolts for your axle. This is going to face upward and it's going to make contact with the jount stop on top of your frame. Now depending on the height of your truck, you're going to have a little bit of a gap here. So that way as your truck starts to sag, it makes contact with the top of the spring and it compresses. The more weight, the more compression giving us additional support. Now these work out really well for your towing applications, but when our frame makes contact with the top of that spring, you're probably gonna feel it inside of the vehicle. Now when we get to the air spring style setup, whether it's Airlift or Firestone, we're gonna have upper and lower brackets to install. So the installation difficulty is gonna go up just a little bit. We're also gonna to have to run air lines back to where we can get to them with an air hose. But this is actually gonna be my preferred upgrade, the one I would definitely pick, because with the upper and lower attachment point, we create a connection from our axle to our frame. As we go down the road, even unloaded, this is going to take some of the shock and some of that jarring effect out of it and it really makes for a smoother ride. This is also going to give us increased steering and turning performance even unloaded because we're going to have a little bit of air in here, typically no less than five pounds of air in the bags at any time. That's going to help control some of the body roll. Now the negative thing about air springs is you do have to maintain minimum pressure. So you'll have to check your airbags periodically and make sure that you've got at least five PSI in them. Now when we look at the off-road style application Timbrin, this is going to be a taller piece. So the frame is gonna be much closer, if not just barely touching the top of that spring. So as we get in those off-camber situations, the spring, as that axle is driven towards the frame, is going to absorb that. And it's gonna take a lot of that heavy jarring and shifting effect that we typically get off-road, off the table, and it's gonna make for a much smoother and much more enjoyable ride. Now these, just like the standard towing style, are progressive. So if we just put a little bit of weight on there, they're a little bit softer. But as we compress it further and further, we're gonna get that increased stability. With this type of timber, we're not gonna have that harsh engagement that we sometimes get with the standard timber. Now let's sum up what we've talked about. When it comes to towing enhancement, you definitely want to go with the standard Timbrin or an airbag setup. Now when it comes to maintenance, the standard Timbrin or the off-road Timbrin, since you don't have to maintain a minimum air pressure, definitely take an advantage there. Now when it comes to the ride quality of the vehicle, the airbags definitely help give us an improvement there. And for recreational use, when we're off-road, the Timbrin off-road, certainly going to be a great choice. But don't forget about the airbags. They can do a lot of the same things that the Timbrin off-road style can do while still giving us the load leveling capabilities for towing. Now, if I were going to be choosing one of these kits to go on my vehicle, I would go with an airbag style setup. It's going to be more versatile, especially a Firestone airbag setup. The way they design their bags has a roll crimp that comes down. And even if we were in an off-road situation and we just happened to hang a front wheel up in the air a little bit, we wouldn't have to worry about separation. That makes, in my mind, an airbag setup a much more versatile style so we can use it for off-road kind of applications and also towing rather than selecting one or the other with a Timberin style. That's going to complete our look at the rear suspension enhancements available for the Toyota Tacoma. We hope this information is helpful in deciding which one's going to be the right for your application. 
Thanks for watching and click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com. And leave us a comment if you have any questions.